Alrighty, today we're talking about the SCAR 16 or the SCAR Lite and the SCARs in general. This is a quick overview of my SCAR 16 that I just recently got SBR'd. It's actually its maiden voyage um, at the range. Uh, no piece of paper was safe. Lots of holes were poked in paper. So real quick, I'm going to show you how high my SCAR 16 set up. Factory buttstock, obviously, trademark Ugg boot. Got a Parker Mountain Machine Magpul uh, grip. This is a M-O-E-K-2, Geissele SSA Super Scar Trigger, or I'm sorry, Geissele Super Scar Trigger. Got the Magpul Safety Selector, Elcan Spectre DR, Surefire 1500 Lumen Light with the pad, Tango Down, Rail Panels, Vertical Grip, and then an AAC Flash Hider with a uh, Blue Force Gear um, padded sling. So this was its maiden voyage as a, as a SBR, and uh, I gotta say I've had a, Interesting relationship with the SCAR over the years. Um, I've always really liked the SCAR. I was interested in them way back in the day when they were first being shown, and obviously they're not as unique now because there's a bunch of non-AR AR alternatives out there. But this was one of the first. If you didn't want to run an AR or an AK, this is one of the first like non-those you could actually pick from. Um, these have been around since the mid-2000s. I think you were first able to purchased the scar light i think they hit the commercial market in like 2009 <clears throat> and then the scar heavy was a year after that and now of course we have the scar 20 out in the scar um pdw whatever that's called i think it's like the scar 15p or scar 15 i'm not i'm not sure but i'm not really interested in that one i've always been interested in the light and the heavy and uh the 20 is cool i own that for a little bit that's a cool gun but um so if you want a non ar and you don't want an ak this is probably one of the best things you can buy. Now, I will always stand by and say that my favorite gun is an AR-15. A good AR-15 um, still, in my mind, has not been beaten. Um, handling, ergonomics, you cannot beat an AR. This thing, however, is pretty pretty sweet. I'm not going to say it's better than an AR because I don't believe it is, but I think it's a good, good, solid gun. Okay, If I can run an AR or an AK, I definitely, the SCAR would be my third pick. Um, good reliability, good accuracy. Out of a, this is a factory 10-inch um, barrel. I'm not going to touch it because it's probably really hot right now. I just ran about five, six mags through it. Actually, more than that was zeroing. Um, but really, really, really cool, cool gun. Love the coloration. FN's kind of finally figured out the the coloration. It still has that tritone tan color, but they've gotten a lot of more, a lot more consistent in in their batches. Because I've owned several scars throughout the year, always end up selling them. Now I'm like, nope, I'm keeping it. I'm married to it. I SBR'd it, so plan on keeping this one, but. Just wanted to do a quick overview of one of my coolest setups, uh, Scar Light, Scar 16S, whatever you want to call it. This is the NRCH model, the non-reciprocating charging handle model. Um, it's got a charging handle on both sides. Really cool, really weirded me out at first because I'm used to the traditional Scar and then when I got the non-reciprocating model, it's it's definitely a, a change, but um, like I said, just a really, really cool gun. And I thought I'd show that off for conversation's sake. I think SCARs are good guns. I, I still prefer ARs and maybe even AKs, but ARs for sure over this. But um, I just want to do a little talk and uh, see what you guys thought of that. Maybe, maybe someone would appreciate it. So SCAR 16, thanks for watching.